finished the day also in our class. Constance, it's not the best quality, but it is good. So now we are recording live in this Google Hangout uh, on air. So now this is basically the video you will be seeing. And I can uh, screen share my screen like this. And um, let's find perhaps or what I would like to show is this one. Yes. Screen share, let's see. Entire screen share. Uh -huh. So I would like to start now with um, some important fundamental parts. This is very important for you for your uh, personal blogs. How do you customize your blog? How do you make it so that it meets the, the reader's expectations? So let's take a look quickly at the fundamental parts of a blog, essential parts that your blog should have. So first of all, we have the header. And at the header of your blog, this is the place where you give the, uh, the name of your blog, right? So in your case, your blog name is what? Your um, own blog. Oh, uh, yeah, Diary of a Dog Wanderer. Diary of a Dog Wanderer. Dog Wanderer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm still, thinking. still thinking about it. That's okay. Today we can finalize it. So basically, this is the part here. The blog's header is found at the top of your blog. It can include, it includes your name and below it, there is a tagline. I'll show you in WordPress under settings, you can change the tagline. The tagline is something like a slogan. For instance, if we look at this one, uh, eat, sleep, denim is the name of the blog on the header, on the top part of the uh, blog. And then below, what does it say there? Only slightly obsessed with denim. That's, the, that's called a tagline. So that's the slogan. So try to think also for your blogs of a good name, but also of a good tagline. And I'll show you in WordPress where do you change that and where do you add that tagline. If you don't change it and if you get a, a free WordPress theme, as you have probably, you will get uh, perhaps a tagline that's set by default in WordPress, something like just another WordPress site, right? But you don't want that to be in your blog. If a reader comes, the first thing they see is just another WordPress site, right? You can make it more personalized. So a good header is very important. And of course, if you have someone or if you're good at making some small logos, as you see there next to uh, the name of the blog, those little flowers and leaves, right? So if you want to add some cosmetic elements, you can do that simply by uh, adding a logo to your header. You can create something with some free software. Uh, Photo is a good example, uh, free online uh, image editing. And then a very big important part of blogs are blog categories. So two things I want you to differentiate, categories versus tags. If you think of categories in the literature world, in the world of writing an essay, as you do here at school, categories are your table of contents, right? First introduction, then we talk about uh, research methods, then we talk about data collection, then we talk about data analysis, then we talk about this. So big categories, how you break down your content. So you can think in your own blog, what are the big parts, the big categories that your blog should have? So for instance, if you make a blog, uh, your blog is about movies. So what are the main subcategories or categories that your blog content should be divided, Constance? Would be reviews, perhaps, right? Where you're reviewing a movie. What else? Yeah, it could be old movies, contemporary movies, so classic, contemporary, French cinema, international, 
cinema, Hollywood movies, Bollywood movies, right? These are all categories. So you create categories and then you, we will see in WordPress how you annotate, you give a tick to your blog post. So every time you write something about an old movie, you take old movies. If it's a French, you take two categories. So what makes sense? That helps the reader, if they're looking for only French movies in your blog, when they click on your categories on your blog, there will be a categories uh, site there on your sidebar, a widget. So then all the old French movies come. So you help the reader really find what they're looking for in your blog. Hmm? So you structure in that way your blog. But tags are your index word, which means that they're keywords that your readers are searching for, um, for instance, from the search engines when they go to Google or Bing. Uh, so they're searching for some, some things. So for instance, in your blog post about a movie, a keyword might be the name of, names of the actors. These are keywords. Your own name, who writes the blog, right? So these are search words. Or also, you can also add like old movies, French cinema, cinema. Think about it, it's like the social media, the hashtags, right? But don't put like long phrases, put words, search words. Try that what people are searching to come into from search engines to come into my blog post. So this is this um, differences, categories and tag words. And we will go through uh, today in the practical side and technical side to see how those um, will be added. Now, very important for you is, and for every blogger, is to have a very good uh, page section. And I can draw you here. I can stop this uh, screen share for a second and I will draw online here a couple of things. <coughs> So here we have, perhaps, this is your blog. This on top here is your header. Create in your document, write down this, or you can think about it, you, were, you can uh, visualize it in your head if you want. Or So here is your header, which includes the blog title, title, plus a tagline, like a slogan under it okay here below the header we have the pages we will come to this now then here we have on the side on the left side on the right side it can be on the bottom there's different sidebars right but the most popular and what makes more sense uh, has been traditional like this in blogs the, on the left, there is a sidebar with additional features. So you will be asked, I will ask you today to create this sidebars for your blog and put different widgets. So here come widgets. Widgets are small apps. So you can put your social media here. You can put your recent, your categories, your most popular blog posts. You can put your blog statistics. You can put a search button. So if someone's searching for something, they can type in the word they're searching for your blog and they find it in your blog. And then here in the main, in this big part here, we have the content, the main content. All your blog posts will come here. So blog posts in reverse chronological order will come here. And people will scroll down and they will see the sidebar and the content, et cetera, et cetera. Right? This is a basic rough structure of a typical blog. So I want us now to focus here on the pages. And let me share my screen uh, again and I'll go to my Prezi. So here we have my Prezi on blogging. So what I would like you to do, absolutely, is to create those three pages. Uh, well, the one, a home page you should have already, uh, where all your blog posts are shown in reverse chronological order. 
If they're not shown, uh, you can edit that from uh, settings. There's two ways uh, to show your home page. Your home page, as you know from every website, when you click home, you go to the main website, right? To the root, www.website.com, right? You go there. Um, but there is two ways to handle your home page. The one is to show their static content, which means that if you want, you can have one main page that every time someone clicks on home, that page appears. But I recommend for a blog to have the second option, which is to show your posts in reverse chronological order. That's why it's a blog, right? People want to see your blog posts. But if for some reason, maybe one day you have a campaign or a competition or something that you want everyone to see immediately, and when they click home, they go to that static page that is always there, absolutely, then perhaps that could be a good idea to do a static page as your home page. Then I want you to create an about page. Your about page is a page where you write about yourself. So it could be a few paragraphs, two, three paragraphs maximum, maybe a picture of you, depending on what your blog is. So Constance, if your blog is about movies, it could be a picture of you eating popcorn, right? Or a picture of you in the movies, or just a picture of you, right? Hien, what is your blog about? About life and traveling and yeah. experiences. Yeah. So you're a Vietnamese girl living in Finland. Perhaps you want to show that now I'm in Finland, I'm enjoying the snow, or what do you want to show, right? Yeah. How do you want to show yourself, to portray yourself? So in this page, and I'll show you now how to create those today, is uh, you can use the information that you used for your finding your own focus assignment. So before we have done an assignment that the purpose was to find your own niche. You can use now those ideas there. So copy paste that text that you wrote or your ideas and use them for your about page that this blog is inspired by my desire to travel the world or watch movies or do this and that. And my passion is this. So try to answer to this finding my focus assignment or repurpose that and use it for your about page. Or it could be anything else. But since you've done it already, you can take some information from that to your about page. You can include a picture. Uh, then the last thing, contact page. A good blog should have a contact page. A contact page, if you don't want to give your real email out, you can either create uh, a blog specific email or you can create a contact form. And I'll show you now uh, how to do it. Is everyone familiar with how to create a page uh, on the blog? Huh? Do you have? No. So I'll stop this screen share here. And please go to your blogs. I want everyone to go to your WordPress, WordPress blog. Do you have here pages on your blog? Do you have pages on your blog? Yeah. You do? What yeah. kind of pages do you have? Uh, home and about. Home and about, very good. And uh, Chong? Not yet. Okay, so let's do it together now. Do you have your computers, girls? No. All right, but you'll see here how we make a page. So now I am here on my Teacher Insights blog, which looks like this. Perhaps I could. Here is my message. So let me show you now. What's happening? Here I am now at my uh, Teacher Inside blog that looks like this. So here is my header. Teacher Insights is the blog title, the blog name. And here at the bottom, we have reflections from a higher education teacher. This is my tagline, okay? And here on the side, in my template, in my theme, the pages are shown there, home, about, contact me, and survey. 
So let me show you now, I go back to the dashboard, how do I create, how I created those pages. So all I do is I go to, uh, where is it, pages, I click on pages, and here I click add new. So let's do it now, the ones who have computer, let's create a new page. Here you will create your contact me page. You did? Okay, good. And then let, let me show you, for example, in my case, let's create, I click add new, and let's create a contact uh, on about page. So about, you can write about or about me or about us, it would be many bloggers in uh, one blog. So you write about, and then here, you add your text, normally as you would do in the word editor or the dashboard of your writing a post, of the editor of your blog post, text. Here by add media, you can insert a picture by uploading files and then clicking insert into page. You can insert YouTube links, you can insert pictures from your URL links from Flickr. So then you have text plus photo and then you click publish. Let's take a look now, because this is, I think, something interesting as well, how to create a contact me page. So you write in your new page, so again, pages, add new, contact me, and here you can write if, you can write also some text, if you like my blog, and you would like to be in contact with me, please email me at, and then you give your email, chrisa at email.com. So that's one way to do it. And then you give your information. You can also include a picture, right, from Ad Media. But one other way to do it or in addition, in addition to a text, is to click here, Anais and Constance and June and everyone, add contact form. So when you click add contact form, you see here there is a form that probably you've seen in many websites when you're subscribing to something or in a newsletter, right? So very simply you click under the form, add this form to my post. And what we see here, this is a HTML code. Uh, it, look, it might look gibberish to you, but basically, if I click publish, you can go ahead and publish it. I can delete it uh, later on. But just to show you how it looks, and I don't click preview because it does not, it will not show me if I click, if you click preview only, it won't show you how this looks, how the page looks uh, below the header. But let's take a look here. This is the contact me pages we've just created, page we've just created. Contact me. So on top here of my header, there's a contact me page that we just created. If you like my blog, be in contact with me here. And there is a contact form. So if somebody wants more information, they write their name, they write an email, and they leave their comment. Okay? So you don't even have to have this text even. We can go back and delete this text with our real address if we don't feel comfortable. We can update and see the changes. So I would like you, now we see the change here. So you see now it's only the contact form and everything comes to the email that we put into WordPress. So if somebody sends us a message, oh, I'd love to cooperate with you, I'd love to invite you there, or I have a small cinema in Porvo or in my in France, in France somewhere, uh, and I'd love to have you there and show you a movie and I would love you to write a review, they can do it through this if they stumble across your blog or if you send it on purpose to someone or somehow you promote it from your social media and someone wants to contact you and they don't want to be your friend in, in Facebook and they think that's unprofessional but they want to send you a message through your blog that they find you. Hmm? So. This is something that you have to do. Create a contact me page, create um, an about me page. And also what I want to show you, let's now uh, leave this for a moment. I will delete it later. Let's add a new page. 
Another thing I would like also here to do and everyone else is you can try to add a poll in your blog. So here there's also the feature of adding a poll to your blog. A poll, it's something like a survey, right? A small survey. So I will uh, name it survey. You can find something that it's interesting for your blog. So what would be something you would like to know from your readers? So if you would be a travel journalist, may, uh, a travel blogger, maybe you would like to, to know in a survey, in a small poll, uh, wh where would you like me to travel next? What movie have you seen in the past two months? Okay. So very simply, we create again a new page and we click here, add poll. Here we create, we uh, click on add new, add new. And here we give a name now to this new poll. That new poll could be called uh, your favorite movie. Or well, what's your favorite movie? of 2014 and here you write some movies movie a movie b movie c you can add more answers by add new answer right you can add a number of answers or you can put an uh, an other option and here you can click on different styles by you can browse by clicking those arrows here on the left and right so think about the theme the colors of your blog and you can choose the right color you can write theme so maybe i'll choose this just for the sake of showing and demonstrating and then you click save poll When you click Save Poll, you're, it's not yet done. You have to click also Embed into Post. There's two ways to do it. One command is here, Embed into Post, and another one is here. They both do the same thing, okay? Embed into Post. And again now, our survey, our movie, let's call it Movie Survey, is embedded into our blog, uh, our blog's page, okay? So let's go ahead and publish. We're happy with that. And let's preview the changes. Now here it opens us a new tab with our uh, preview in real time. So this is here. Here is now our movie survey. So if somebody clicks, oh, movie survey, that's interesting. I want to take that survey. They come across this and they can vote for movie one, movie B, movie C, or other movie that they can write movie X and then they click on vote so your readers then will click one vote and you see here the total amount of votes and there is the icons also where they can share your poll so you can also share it to your social media oh I have a cool survey please go ahead and vote uh, and get some maybe you can even make it a competition so find something interesting but this takes just a second from your readers right something that gets them to visit your blog and you get more hits and more comments and more readers and more followers right so find something interesting to ask to your um, readers let's go back into pages and uh, delete now this movie survey and contact me when you want to delete pages you can go here to pages you can see them all you can tick here the right page. These are the ones that we just created six minutes ago and one minute ago. And here from the bulk auctions, you click the drop down menu, move to trash, and apply. So now they're deleted. So now if we see my blog, let's refresh. Here they are only the previous pages right home about contact me and survey the poll let's go back to the uh blog to the prezi 
So here we were now talking about pages. So your task is to create pages for your own personal blogs. Home about contact and uh, the, the survey, I would recommend. And here we see just an example I, I showed you also in my own personal blog, the different pages there on top. Can you read there what it says? Please start from what, are, what pages this blog has. Do you read? Too small? How about now? What pages does this blog have? Blog, all the information, events, packages, products, services, contact. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is the header, the name of the blog, some logo. There's no tagline here, but there's the pages below, as we've seen also in the structure here on the board. Blog comments is something that you need to work on your uh, blog. It's something that is very important. As we mentioned, blogs have to be interactive. They have to create engagement, and you'll be also uh, compensated for that. So you need to, every time you post something, to share them on your social media. People will not just necessarily come in your blog and uh, volunteer a comment. You have to even prompt them with a call to action in your blog post. So for instance, think about uh, a blog post that you write, and perhaps you can close with a question that asks them to do something. So now that you read the blog, write in the comments below your thoughts, or write your questions, or do this. So ask them always to do something for you or for them. So now that you got inspired by this, show me how you apply it, right? You could be a fashion blogger and you show something about a makeup tutorial. Okay, ask your readers to see how do you apply my makeup tips on your face? Do they work for you or do they not? Or if you uh, talk about a place that you visited, what are your experiences? Have you been there? Okay, so make them um, engaged. So it's all about community building and, and network it, networking. Now we're coming to a very important part, as I promised you in the beginning, the blog sidebar. There we see the blog widgets go. And this is a perfect place to display information. Widgets are small apps that do something. They add some sort of information. So this is what your visitors want also to see other than your blog posts. For instance, a widget on your sidebar, so here your sidebar would have different widgets, widget one, widget two, three, and we will see now how we create them. For instance, about link or short bio, it could be displayed there on the sidebar. A picture of you, contact information, Maybe some of you say, well, I have this as pages and I don't want to have them also in my sidebar. That's fine. You don't have to have them. But definitely, perhaps I would recommend to have some blog role, a blog role widget, which is basically your favorite blogs from the blogosphere, from the community that you want, that you like. Because if you add some blog into your blog role, maybe they add your blog into their blog role. So it's all about... Uh, community building as well. Links to other blogs or websites, we will, I'll show you how to do this. List of categories, so categories of your blog posts, as we said before, uh, these are the table of contents, so movie reviews, movie interviews, French cinema, international cinema, Bollywood movies, categories. If somebody wants to read only about Bollywood movies on your blog, then they will click there to find your uh, the right content. Archives, archives that archive your personal uh, blog's content. So you start now writing that blog from January onwards. So in January, you have one post. In February, you have three. In March, you have four. And as you go on, the months go on, you can find archives of people's blog posts on specific months. So. In September 14, what did she write about? Did she cover that event? Did she go to that exhibition and write about it? So 
if you continue with blogging, you, your content will become, uh, through the years, uh, uh, able to be archived as well. Other examples of widgets, search, uh, recent posts, links, comments, popular posts, social media icons, and I would add to this absolutely the uh, search button and the uh, blog stats. I will stop now, or I will continue now here in WordPress, So, and I'll show you how to add widgets to your blogs. So let's go now back to your blogs. I go here to mine, teacherinsightswordpress.com. And all we do is very simply to go here where it says appearance. Lynn, do you have widgets in your blog? You do, good. So you were in the previous course, so you have done it before. Uh, do you have hand widgets in your blog? Not yet. Not yet. All right. But let's do it now. We have the com you have your computers on. Go to your blog and click on appearance. And next, click on widgets. Widgets. This present will be available in Moodle and also this uh, Hangout on air, so you can uh, check this information out. So this is now an example here on this left side you will see a variety of widgets. The name here are within the white border. So there's an About Me widget, Akismet widget, Archives widget, this and that. So there's, if you scroll down, there's so many widgets. As I said, these are small apps, right? They do something on your blog. They add some kind of content. So here below each widget, there is a short dis uh, description of what this widget uh, do. What's their purpose? And the very simple way to display a widget on your blog sidebar is very simply to drag it. So you take it from here, you grab it with your mouse, and you press it and you take it here to the next uh, column to your sidebar. So go through carefully your widgets, all available widgets you have on this free wordpress.com uh, platform and select the ones that you want to, to show. For instance, one example, here you see the, the widgets that I have on my sidebar. Perhaps it's better to show them uh, here on my actual blog. So let's see now. So my uh, blog here, has, as we see here, it has this three columns, right? You see this column, one, where all my blog posts are. You see this other column where all my pictures are. This is the theme that I have chosen, right? And this is my sidebar. You might have a blog that has two columns, one for your posts and one for your, uh, or two, two columns, yeah, one for your posts and one for your sidebar. Or it could be four columns. Depends on your theme, on the theme you've chosen. So here in my blog, I have chosen to add a widget that gives me a search uh, box, which is very important. People can search here uh, about learning or some keywords. And then they come across certain results every time learning was mentioned in my blog post. So then they read my blog post about this, yeah? Yes. But for, for homework, create your about, pa your, your pages, and create your uh, sidebar full of widgets. Go all the widgets through, read what the widgets do, and put as many widgets as you can. I would advise blog stats, search buttons, as we see here, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories. So if somebody wants to read journal, they click here and they go to my journal entries. Blogs I follow. So here I follow also your blog. So I will be following, and I think I have followed some of your blogs as well. So here I'll be following you. If you see teacher insights following your blog, it's me. So um, blog stats, here you see how many hits my blog has. So I will be sending you this recording. You have to go now, a few of you. So 
thank you for coming. And then I will send you all the material. And if you have questions, then you, we, you ask me and we'll go through next time. But I would like to see then how you add widgets in your sidebar and pages for next time. And more content for our Haga uh, Helia blog, the on campus. Um, um, yes. 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 I'll send you some more information via Moodle. So have fun. We will continue here with uh, the students that uh, are here then and those who watch this uh, recording uh, later on. So this is just an example of the sidebar of my blog. So very simply, you drag from here to there. Very uh, here, I would like you to go through this Prezi as well at home and read more information about pages that I recommend you having. But now with the students that they're here present in this class, I'd like to go back to practical uh, issues and hands-on how to create pages and how to create um, a sidebar full of widgets. So thank you for watching this recording. I will pause it now and I will leave it for you uh, at home as well to uh, continue and practice. Bye-bye.